What are we going to do without Refia? Hello everyone, this is JW Vincent, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II Completion! We're playing Final Fantasy III, and uh... Oh, I see. Ruffy is just gonna join us right here. You guys are late! What? But I thought, shouldn't you be... We all promised the crystal we'd go on our journey, and I don't want to be a smith just yet. I am thankful to Father for taking care of an orphan like me all these years. Oh, she's an orphan. But this is something I have to do. Wait, you're an orphan too? Two? You mean, I'm one too. Wait a minute, I too have no parents. Oh, what are the odds? It can't be a coincidence, the crystal must have known. Sounds like it's going to be an interesting journey. Now let's go break that rock. Sid's all about business. Boom! I'm so fast. I break rocks so hard. Does that break the ship? Is that what happens? Yeah, Taka's not as great of a smith as we all thought he was. I I knew there was a reason you didn't have the airship for the rest of the game. There was no way. Phew! Oh, talk to Sid. Ow, my back! Well, that was entertaining, wasn't it? Good to see everyone's intact. It's weird, I feel as if we've done this before. Did you hit your head or something? We'd never even seen an airship until we met Sid. What? You feel as if we've done this before? That doesn't seem canonical. <laughs> Are these the same warriors from Final Fantasy 1? Thank you for your help, lads. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you out. I know. You probably want to get your hands on a new airship. Well, I'm the man for the job, but you'll have to meet King Argus first. See, I only made the airships whole. The king's the one who knows the secret of creating airship engines. Come see me again once you've spoken with King Argus. Sid has left the party. Are we time travelers? Is that what it is? That's the plot behind Final Fantasy 1, time travel. Sid's left the party. Through holy matrimony. Alright, what's this? The end? The end's over here? Okay. Okie dokie, this is, uh... Oh, this is certainly quite the end layout right here. Got everything you need right here. Can I not just nap in your beds? Do I have to pay you to nap? That seems unfair. Do you want to rest? It'll be 40 gil a night. I don't think so. You do not sell anything of any use. I tried to hit I to open my inventory. I didn't even want to look at my inventory. I wanted to look at my character screen, so I should have hit C, right? Hi, sleepy girl. Selena. Oh, Desh, my beloved Desh, when would you be back? Why would you go to the mountains in the east where a dragon is said to dwell, and what would drive you to go to such a place of... What? Hey, do you think we should check out this dragon mountain? Definitely. Let's go look for this Desh guy and bring him back here. What? What exposition? It's truly incredible. Selena. Selena and Selena. My daughter, Selena, has fallen in love with that vagrant Desh. But he didn't stay a fortnight before he left, mumbling about some task he promised himself to do. And Selena's been angsty and crying ever since. Well, you let her date a vagrant. What were you expecting? Nothing back here to zoom in on? Okay. Oh! Oh! I find a mallet! I'm pretty sure that's not a weapon, and it's more so a, uh... There we go. That was hard. And it's, uh, more so an active item, like it was in Final Fantasy II? Maybe not, though. Let's find out. Yeah, now it's just an active item. Okay, um, let's go ahead and change everyone's job. To Monk, of course. Change job to Monk. Yes, please. 
Ark, those robes are not flattering on you. Nor are you right yet. Does everyone have the exact same monk outfit? Like, no changes whatsoever? Yep. The only difference is where Rekia wears her headband. A Moogle! Hello, Moogle! <laughs> Talk to me! Welcome to Magnet, Koopa. Our service lets you read letters from the people you've previously met. So Papa sent a letter. How are you? Luna, Ark, how fair are you? Er is just not the same without you two. Everyone here misses you, and we all pray for your safe return. From Topapa. A.K.A. Yo Papa. Don't forget to talk to Mog when you see him in town, Koopo. He might have a letter for you from a friend or loved one. Hi. Very unique sprite. Why, hello there. I'm a dancer. Watch me prance. I feel it. This is my jam. Wow! Is there a piano in this town that I can play? Ooh! A magic shop! How excellent! All these flat- all these monks and no magic! Thunder? Well, let us purchase it. Why should we not? Blind? No, no, no! Ooh. Okay, so I- own two thunders now. My bad. Me throw rod, me throw sword, me throw knife, great bow, iron arrow. Exit. I don't want any of your crap. Is there a smithy around? I guess that is a smithy. Is there a, uh, Armor smith around. That's what I'm looking for, yes. Someone who makes, uh, not shields, but leather vests. And other things of that nature. Yes, you, you, you're, you're exactly what I'm looking for. Alright. Get four of the, not six, four please. Four of those as well. Let's get four of these as well while we're at it. And we'll probably wander into the next dungeon and find all of that in spades. But, uh, exit. Menu, there we go. Slugwar Equipamenta. Wow. Okay. I I see. I I see my mistake now. Did you know that monks cannot wear me throw armor? No, I mean it makes perfect sense. I was I was kind of expecting that, really. I don't I don't know why I even bothered. What I should have done is just Fault one of everything. And then tried it on. And if it didn't work, then we knew. Now, though, now I've fought, like, everything of everything. Nothing happens. So why... Why do I have the ability to rest at an inn when I can just visit these magical spring houses and get restored? Maybe they only restore characters who are the dead. Alright. Before we, uh, charge up this mountain, we may as well save, just in case. Alright, here we go. Up the mountain we go. Oh boy, the Dragon's Peak! We already made it to the Dragon's Peak, eh? That was... fast. Can I... No, thank you. Back attack! Ouch! Double ouch! They're called Rook. Kinda like the uh, Blackbird, the Rook. 
Alright, this is, uh, this may not be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run away. Run away. Run away. This always happens. Aha! Successful escape. Okay, we need to go. We got to go. Actually, before we go. Red Mage? Yeah, I think so. Why not? There we go. That's a nice, it's a nice outfit. That's how I decide what class they are, by their outfits. White Mage? Yes, yes, very nice. I accidentally opened Photoshop, and it is throwing a fit about getting closed. Alright, uh, Rekia, you can go ahead and be a Black Mage? Yes, I think so, yes. And, uh, you definitely want to be a Warrior in this. I'll have to do some, uh, Monk upgrading off-screen, I think. How fortunate that they can equip, at least he can equip, Meat Grill. Longsword? Yeah, I think so. Two longswords? Why not? Alright. Please be able to equip Meat Grill. No, you don't think so? Okay. Oh, you can't equip Meat Grill Bracers, though. So that's, that's definitely a thing. No weapon, though. No weapon. Alright. Okay. Black Mage can equip a bow. That's good. Wait. Do you not have Mithril Bracers available to you? I thought I bought four of those. Can you also not equip the White Slayer as a warrior? What the devil is the White Slayer? It's not... a sword. I guess I'll give it to Luneth then, and I, I guess I'm glad that I set Luneth as a, uh, Red Mage, because... Oh, I can change my party member's order! I didn't mean to, but I can, and that's what counts. Oh, you know what would, you know, probably be nice? You know what probably be nice with, uh, all of these characters with their magic abilities? Oh, it doesn't unequip magic? Oh, how freaking excellent. Learn Thunder. Wait. How did I buy two thunders? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't even really mean to have half the things that I have, but why do I have two thunders? Alright, so obviously the whole monk grinding strategy can wait. I'm not even sure if it's accurate. We're gonna run over here and pick up some weapons real quick. Maybe our team is a bit lackluster. Oh, the Mithril Rod cannot be equipped by... What the devil can I give Ark? Attack 17 will buy and give me three of those. Oh, I can't. Okay. Alright, well now I have a worth- you know what? You know what? You, sir, can buy items. Take those off my hands, please. Take this off my hand as well. I want those. I want to keep those. 
What do you mean I only have five holy arrows? Oh no, they're worth five gold, okay. Mm. I honestly feel like by the time I want to equip those again, I'll have something better. I want to get rid of that leather armor yet, though. This says I have a spare mithril bracer. Can the warrior not equip mithril bracers? How does that even make sense? Okay, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. Look. Angus, whip out those Mithril swords, bruh. Okay. I guess if that will be an improvement, that's what we're gonna use. I really wish I could equip Hark with literally anything. Art's just going to kind of sit in the back and look pretty in his white mage outfit. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Nothing happens! Nothing happens? Oh no! Okay, I guess I do have to heal at the end. That sucks. You want to rest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me rest, please. Please let me stay tonight. What I could do, what I should do, is travel back to Castle Sasune and make use of their free beds. Ah, I slept like a log. I don't need to... I want to know how to get over there. There's got to be something along the river that lets me jump in, right? Hmm. No? What's this back here? Sid? Why is your wife in bed? Sid! Is she tired? Mrs. Sid's gotten sick while I was away. Don't worry, she'll be fine. If only I could get my hands on a bottle of elixir. Cough, heck. All I have is high potion. I don't have elixir. Oh no. Don't worry, Mrs. Sid. I'll come back to you. By the way, there's nothing in here worth exploring, right? No, okay. Oof. Alright. I guess maybe now we go try our hand at Dragon's Peak. Maybe maybe we fight two random encounters before we get to Dragon's Peak. How's that sound? I wonder if I can wander all the way back to Castle Sasune for free. No random encounters until I got right outside the castle. Uh... Why does my party look backwards? Move you to the front. Yes. Move you to the rear. Move you to the rear. Move you to the front. How did this happen? Haha! -ha! I moved Ark to the rear just in time. Ark's gonna be off. Kung Fu White Mage, son! I see. Alright, that's one battle. Now we'll just walk back towards Dragon's Peak. Are there no random encounters here? Here we go. Oh, a chameleon? Demon chameleon at that. Oh, it's a basilisk. Okay. I'm sorry, that's not a basilisk. That's a chameleon. One damage, nine damage, 30 damage. 
It's all the same, ultimately. Oof. That Basilisk is uh, rather resilient. We have Mithril Swords, too. What's going on here? Ouch. Yeah, you you punch him, Art. You punch the crap out of him. So are the number of spells you're able to cast determined by your character level or your job level? It must be job level, because uh, monk level 1 could cast zero spells. So that means level 1 white and black mage can cast 5 spells by default. Hey, and that's job level increase. What can Red Mage cast? Does he get five spells at level one as well? Oh no, they've got ten each. It also says they're level seven though. Now, job level two, job level one. They get ten by default? Is that, is that what that is? Wow. That's pretty nifty. I bet those rooks don't stand a chance against us this time. Let's find out. They might still kill me. Oh, shoot, I can't cast Thunder yet. Three hit! Wow! Ark, you punched that guy three times and did one damage. That's a little sad. That means I guess that means you missed twice. Or your fists are so weak that you can't even do one damage per punch. You gotta do three punches to get one damage. One third a hit point per attack. That is probably worse, actually. These things are just kind of soaking up damage. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe... Maybe this time we can finally kill him. Maybe if our white mage had a weapon, he'd be more useful. Good, 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 good. Everyone's job level went up. Let's see what uh, Angus's vitality is now. Nine. So he's on par with a level seven freelancer. I wish it said why those numbers were green. Maybe those are be being adjusted by class, which means being warrior and red mage literally does not impact your stats at all. Weird. Oh no, I just wanted to save, really. Alright, everyone, that's going to be it for this episode. Save data to slot one, yes, please. And, uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. If you didn't, leave a comment anyway. Let me know what I can improve on, and be certain to click my icon in the upper right to subscribe for more upcoming content. I upload multiple Let's Play videos daily. In fact, there's another one right there in the bottom left corner. For more on this series, be sure to check out the playlist in the bottom right corner. Have a great day.